Hello and welcome to another indie horror game. This time I'm playing Apartment 327, which is supposed to be a first-person horror game where I'm going to be investigating a mystery set inside an apartment throughout many different time periods. I think we'll be going from the 1920s or so all the way to the present day. Now, I believe I actually did play the demo to this a couple of months ago, and I think I actually recorded it as well, made a video on it, but I don't think it ever made it on the channel for whatever reason. So this is going to be kind of new to most of you. Um, if you're interested, check down below in the description. The full game is out now. All the details, all the links will be down there. And thank you to the devs for giving me a key. Brilliant. Right. Hope you enjoy it. This is apartment 327. And we're in. Right. So, a brief look at the controls. So... Pretty standard stuff. Menus Q, Flars Light, yep, that's now we right click. Flashlights F, right, and flash shot, don't know what that is, but that's space bar. Okay, yeah, let's start a new game. There are so many things that I regret. But it's too late to correct these mistakes. The images are blurred in my mind. As if everything was a distant dream. However, I vividly recall those eyes. Staring at me funnily as they snatched my life away. Yes, I do vaguely remember this. Still trying to figure out exactly why it didn't end up on the channel. Okay, so there's nothing behind this thing, but it's a door. Okay, so this would be apartment 327, I suppose. Let's see. As I recall, there were a few little puzzles in this game. So... Um, flashlight, or flash light, or flash shot. Doesn't seem to be working at the moment. I guess I don't have a light source. Right. Okay. Let's take a look at that. Or well, let's not. Can I just... I think I can pretty much take a look at anything and everything. What's this? Okay, uh, Anita Foxtrot. 4th of May 1965. I've finally been given the go-ahead to get into the former home of the Elizondo family, the tragic Apartment 327. Since the notorious events took place, the house has remained locked and no one has dared to enter. Until now. This may be the greatest opportunity of my career. And that's sent to the inventory. Right, so the- hang on, the inventory, I think, if I press Q... If you remember a game I played called Inner Voices? You also sort of went into another dimension to uh, sort of sort out the options, have a look at the controls, and look at all the notes you've picked up, so... Right, the timeline actually starts at 1912, it seems. And uh, I just picked that up, I suppose, in 1965, and it goes all the way to 2016. Interesting. And it's just cue to go back, is it? It seems to be. Alright, cool. Uh, I, I think we're done here. Do we take that? I guess not. Right. So it's really just the notes we're looking for. So, yeah. What happens? Mass protests in face of the Berlin Wall reconstruction. That's 2nd of August 2016. Okay, weird. Okay, that's another note by the looks of it. Um, what is that? Looks like a map, actually. Of what? I could not tell you. It's kind of hard to see, really. Hmm. Members of the Elizondo family? Okay. Oh, that's right. This one's missing a handle, so we need to find a handle. Alright. I'll, uh, I'll keep an eye out. Yeah, yeah, okay, now I remember this. It's the time lift. You know, every house has got one. Um, before we before we do that, let's just take a, a better look around here. There's probably something else to find. Like this. This sort of tuning fork looking thing. It emits a strange frequency. Since the inventory, right. Yeah, I think since the inventory is essentially like another, you know, 
space and time. <laughs> we don't need to actually sort of pull it out of the bag or anything. I think it just gets used when we find the place to use it. Like that. There you go. Alright, so let's just have a look at the options. So the current date is actually 2016. I can go back to 1923. Sure. All right, I'll do that in a sec. Just want to make sure there's nothing else to find around here. An empty safe? Right. Maybe it won't be empty if I get back a little earlier. What's this? An article from the Daily Bay. A, a cure for photosensitivity? The Sun Child Foundation is preparing a presentation of their latest developments in active phototherapy for children with sunlight intolerance. The president of the foundation, Joseph Elizondo, claims that the results from new therapies represent a breakthrough for the people affected, including his daughter, Clara. He stated that in a few months, the children suffering from sunlight intolerance will be able to go outside in the sun. Okay. Oh, okay. The plot thickens. We need to find a handle and we need to find a key for the drawer. Oh, we got the bathroom. Uh, the game looks fairly nice, honestly. It's sort of a nice balance of lighting and yeah, it, it looks pretty cool. I, uh, I want to say it's Unity or Unreal. I can't tell which though, yet. I think that's pretty much going to cover it. So maybe we should go back in time a little bit, right? Yeah, let's use the time lift. So, 23rd of July, 1923. Alright. Looks a little bit better. Sort of. Alright, so what have we got around here? Come on, there's got to be something to find. Like a book, yes! Alice in Wonderland, right? <laughs> Those bloody copyright lawyers. All right, we're not going to be going into that. Yeah, looks like we can pick up pretty much everything we see. It's kind of interesting. Could take a while if I don't know what I'm looking for, though. That's a nice touch. That might be involved in a puzzle later on. Oh, that looks promising. Another note? Okay. Um, Alright, so 10th of July 1923 this time. A flea market is opening in the city to tomorrow. It's so great that it will be open at night. Clara will be very happy when we take her there. Right. Of course, in the dark. She's sensitive to the sun. Okay. Let's see, can we close the door? No? I don't believe we ever go through that door back there. At least we didn't in the demo. Maybe we will in the in the full game. Right. Okay. <laughs> Not much has changed. Slightly different edition of the newspaper, though. Internal rumours spread that a cure for patients suffering from photosensitivity has been found. Right. Hey. Oh, hey, right. I think this is the handle. Yeah, could be useful. I'm sure it will be. Uh, Joseph's... Oh, right, yeah, so Joseph Elizondo writes, There have been some weird noises in the house these past few days. I feel as if someone is watching us. All of this alongside Clara's strange behaviour. She hasn't wanted to leave her room since we came back from the market, and whenever we go and see her, she gets nervous. Intriguing. Okay. So, oh, I guess we need to find a key for the padlock, or maybe not. Maybe we just need to sort of break it. Okay, we definitely need to find a key there, though. Uh, can we pull out the nails? No, they've all been bent out of shape. That's fun. All right, well, that was short and sweet. I, I'm pretty sure we can use the time lift whenever we want. So, yeah, I'm just going to go straight back to present day, to 2016, I suppose, right? That's it, yeah. Hmm. This is an interesting concept, I think. Still can't quite remember why I didn't release the video. Maybe I just forgot. Right. Okay, so I uh, don't have to go too far to have a look at that drawer, do I? There it is. 
Sorted. Oh, and that's the key. But which one? It can be used to open locked doors, not drawers. Okay, so am I going straight back to 23? Uh, I suppose so, right? Well, okay, let's just test this out, just in case. Yep, alright. Is there any... Okay, there is, yeah, there's a little bit of sprinting in this game. Back to 1923. I figure the more we find, the more dates will be open and available to us. If all the buttons are lit up, this could get quite confusing, actually. Hmm, right. <laughs> I remember you. Right, now we got a chance to have a look at this door. No, okay. Now why did you move? I figure I came back to the same point, right? You shouldn't have moved. Still got the shadow there? Or is that a bug? Kind of creepy either way. <laughs> Through here? That's it. Right, so as you can see, the time lift has moved. <laughs> it's gone up over the years. Just looking for anything that might be worthwhile. Here we go, we've got some drawers here. Nothing? No. Mm, Alright. Okay, this is a little bit of a difference. There wasn't a door up there before. Or if there was, it was blocked by boxes. <sighs> Alright. Close the door. No, why is that not a thing? Oh my god, alright. Alright, let's see. This was in the demo, I'm pretty sure. In fact... Let's see, in one of these drawers... I think I'm going to find myself a flashlight. Ah, is that it? There you go. I've got myself the flashlight. All right. Okay, so that was the flash shot. That uses up a full battery. Just right-clicking gives me a slightly stronger beam, and the battery recharges incredibly quickly. That's uh, 1920s technology for you, I guess. Dead child appears... Oh, sorry. The child dismemberer acts again and claims a new victim. The decapitated body of one of the notorious dock children turned up yesterday morning. There was no trace of the head. That makes 13 decapitated children since May 1921, when the first victim was found. In the absence of any identification, the authorities have requested the help of neighbouring citizens to identify the body. Alright. I'll put that away. Just cutlery, right. Open the cupboards as well. I don't know if we're going to find anything, to be honest. Doesn't really look like it. Big old stain on the floor, though. Actually, just all over the place. <laughs> oh, hey there. Show pat yeah. Oh, that's right, we've got the musicians around here. And a scroll? Can't read what's on it, but it's kind of peculiar. Uh, all right, in here. Okay. Open book. Can I? Yes, I can read. Lost in time and space. Um, it's all about you. What were you doing just before arriving at this place? From the station, they had given you authorization to investigate the disappearance of the Elizondo family. But when you've arrived at the house, uh, you have realized that something is really wrong with this place. You don't know why, but you're stuck in a space-time loop that keeps you tied to this place. How is it possible? Surely your colleagues at the program will not believe the experience you're living. Finding an exit is the only solution. But again, let's go back to the beginning. What were you doing just before you got here? How is it possible to end up trapped in a space-time anomaly like this? What the hell happened to the Elizondo family so that their house would end up like this? You're traveling in time between 1923 and 2016 going through 1965 and 1992. It doesn't make sense, does it? I can tell you a secret about time travel. It's possible to take one object into a temporary period and use it in another one. Well, obviously, because I've done that before. I did it with the, the handle and the key. Anyway, so you can create small paradoxes that will be very useful to leave this place. What came first, the chicken or the egg? It may be a bad idea to continue with the last concept. 
Let's leave the eggs in the definition of time for the Joyce brothers. Okay, so are you basically just telling me that there's going to be some bullshit in this game? I mean, that's fine. Hang on. Batteries? A flashlight battery. Right, yes. The flash being the flash shot, I suppose. So, yeah, cool. I don't think I need the description for every battery I take. The first time is fine. Right. Uh, our worst fears have been confirmed. Our little girl is allergic to the sun, which means she will never be able to go outside during the day. I'm afraid of the consequences that this change in her lifestyle may have. She won't be able to go to school or interact with other children. How wouldn't these changes affect her during her childhood? Yeah. Yeah. Is that her? It might very well be. Okay, we got a, a fan of Ragnarok, apparently. The Age of Fire and Gravel. Something in the pot? No? Maybe I'm imagining the Initiate or something, that's what I'm remembering. Oh, we do have a little box over here. Again, need a key. Okay. Hmm. Are we done in this area? I think we might be done. Let's just keep on going. Past, uh, is it Beethoven and Mozart over there? Okay. What about this sort of sword door? Can't go through. Maybe I'm in the wrong time for it. Okay, another one of these doors. It's a bit strange. The flashlight? Okay, the flashlight's the key. <laughs> if you say so, man. It's the apartment. Oh. Um, don't know if this was in the demo, to be honest. Where are we? Oh, Jesus Christ! What the- <laughs> Okay! No, this wasn't in the demo. I don't remember this. Through there? Is that- Oh, fucking hell. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, this way? Nope. But Is that thing still chasing me? Yeah, what big arms you have. Donkey Kong looking motherfucker. Right. Up the stairs? Right. Keep. Nope, nope. Uh, keep mm, going here, maybe. A uh, bit of a dead end. You, have you stopped chasing me? Is there something up there? Is it a wall or a door? I can't tell. Oh, hang on, nope. Oh, there's a door I can't open. Alright, well, sure. Yeah. Okay, so this is like a blind playthrough from here on in. This was not in the demo. Can I use that? Oh, hang on, that's the shooting fork thing, right? I can't tell that it's gold, but yeah, apparently it is. So that's for the time lift. Okay. And that's what I needed? Right. Strange. Very strange. Okay. So I guess I take this back to the time lift and that will give us access to another year? <laughs> Weird looking enemy though. Looked, um, kind of laughable, honestly. <laughs> when I got a, a bit of a better glimpse at it. Oh, it is gone. Bloody statue. Right. Okay, you haven't returned whence you came. You're not there either. Hmm. Well, let's go back. And let's put the tuning fork in. Yep, yeah, that's right. So I guess maybe I just need to find one of these in every time. 
So what have we got now? Now I can go to 1965, 1st of November. Alright, well, yeah, let's do that. Yeah, alright, I, I, I'm kind of liking the game, I suppose. It's a bit rough around the edges. feel a little bit strange sort of jumping into the series now. I mean, I haven't played the first 326, but... Seriously? I had to check then that my flashlight was on. Okay, right-clicking is definitely necessary. Let's grab a couple more of those batteries. Yeah. Is there a limit? i got ten right now. Eleven? Well, maybe there isn't. What's this? <laughs> my spin. I may have found a way out. Or the way out. There appears to be a way out through the basement. The door is locked, but I should be able to get in somehow. This is a very strange and large apartment. I mean, at what point does it become like a house? Oh, I see. It's this room. Right, can we go through now? No. I see that box is gone. As has the photo. Can't get the lights to work. Oh my god. Every time I change, it just gets worse and worse. <laughs> Alright, so maybe I should go back to the projector room. See what, you know, see what's become of that. Alright, well, maybe I can still use the flashlight to get in. Yeah, I can. Okay. Right, so is it projector time again? Sure. Wait. Oh, hang on. Oh, we're missing a reel. Right. <laughs> There's nothing to play. Can I get my flashlight back, please? Is there a way to get it back? Maybe. Uh, hmm. Okay, well... Maybe when it closes? Oh, there you go. Right, I thought I was going to have to go on in the dark, because I can barely see as it is. Right. Still can't get through there? No. And this one? Still a problem. So what about the kitchen? Oh, hang on. Oh, shit! Whoa, 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 whoa! The statue has now come to life. Whoa! Dude! Okay. Looks like it just takes one flash shot to take care of them. I don't know if he's just gonna keep, like, infinitely respawning. Kinda hope not. Fuck. Do you need, like, a full battery for that to work? I guess not, but right. Fuck. Right, I, I, I guess we, we're not really meant to linger around here, you know? Right. Yeah, fuck that. Through here? Ah, oh, I need the key. Okay. Right, yeah. Panicking a little bit. Come on. Okay, let's read this, and hopefully I'll be safe. Um, what has happened since I fell asleep? Am I safe? Genuinely not sure. I'm just going to send that to the inventory. I'm just going to read that later. I don't really see anything, honestly. Okay, alright, well, close that up. Fucking closed doors, goddamn. Alright, what's this? I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm safe. Uh, it seems that Joseph Elizondo was a great lover of classical music. He even had a secret entrance to the room where he kept the grand piano scores, located in the living room. Oh, really? Okay. Um, that's Lost in Time and Space again, yeah. Okay, we got the old film titled Silent Hill Hospital, possibly? SH Hospital? Right. It's kind of freaky, actually, hearing the sort of statue move around below me somewhere, I guess. Just going to give him brief flashes. Right. 
Calm down. Calm down. He might be appearing in this corner again, unfortunately. That's where it seems to come from. Go. Keep going, keep going. Fuck. Preemptive strike, I thought. Uh, okay, alright. Let's get back in here, let's uh, have a look at this projector again. Alright, so this is SH Hospital, is it? Okay. Well, it's certainly not the apartment. I need a key for the locker, bloody hell. Alright, I'm just trying to keep track of how many keys I need in how many different times. And if it's somewhere I can access in the time lift or a projection. There's quite a lot going on, actually. Okay. No flashlight? No, not here. Right. So yeah, so far the game isn't bad. I don't think. I think it does cost, like... I think it's over $15. I think it might be like... Uh, I think it was like £15, actually. So it might be like $20, roughly. Maybe a little lower than that. I... Whoa. I don't know if I'd pay that much for it, honestly. Is that the door I came through closing? I'm not sure, to be honest. Right. The office? Oh, bloody hell, another one! So, it locker, office... Okay. The other lockers I don't have too much luck with, no? Okay. Can I, like, pick up a lamp or something, bring it with me? Because honestly, it's just so bloody dark. I'll go that way. I'm curious, though. And maybe I've got a death wish. R07? No, that's boarded up. And yep, yeah, that of course means I can't go through. Okay. That looks promising. And it is! Okay, cool! Oh, right, yeah, there was a there was another sort of section in the menu for NDE notes, so I found one. Anita Foxtrot. The next phase of an NDE is called the Tunnel of Light. Individuals go through a moment of intense clarity, leading to an exit in which their last memories emerge. Experiences lasting hours or days are recounted in a matter of seconds. Usually, these memories are pleasant, th although many patients have also recalled horrific experiences. So, NDE, near-death experience? Hmm, okay. Right. Uh, let's see. So did that big lummox push over all these bookshelves? Nothing down here? No. Damn. Just really hope I'm going to run into a flashlight or something soon. Is that another... Yep. I, I think that's a door over there? <laughs> I'm just guessing where the handle is. Okay, well, we're around that, so that's some of the job done, I guess, right? Common room. For your safety. Oh, better read this. Remember to close the doors. I wish I fucking could! You just can't in this game. Try as you might. Doesn't work. Something on the bed over there. Yet another note. Let's take a look. Okay, security report. Anne Green. Uh, total disconnection with reality. During the last month, she has been suffering from intense nightmares where darkness calls her to be its servant. A daily evaluation of her mental state is recommend. Id. I suppose. Sure. Let me just go back to the menu, actually. Just want to have a look at the board now. Oh, oh, we get, like, the hospital version of it. 
Oh, that's interesting. So there's a different menu for different areas? That's kind of neat. I just sort of wondered where that was going to appear on what part of the notice board. Uh, okay, I think we're done here. I don't know, though. Right, okay. Well, there was an area where I could sort of go down, get out of the corridor. Maybe I should use that. And let me just see if there's something on this side of the, uh, the blockage. Is that a thing? No? Hmm. Oof, there we are. I feel like just sprinting around the entire game in a way because he just walks so slow. Can't get in there? No, nope, I, nope, I guess not. This is probably very evident on the video that I'm bumping into things, but right now I can barely see, like, most things on the screen. Okay, yeah, I can go down here. Or can I? Oh, no, 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 I, I can, I can. There we go. Reception, right. So, <laughs> is leaving an option? Apparently not, no. Hmm, fair enough. Well, let's maybe check reception. Maybe there's some sort of button I could push. Oh, hang on. Uh, and green. Elizondo. Right, well, not buttons, but it's like an abacus, I think? Right. Not sure what I'm doing with that. What's this? Near to death experiences. There you go. Uh, will undoubtedly revolutionize medicine and psychology throughout the 20th century. There are still many questions to answer, but that is precisely what turns this study field into a fascinating subject. I'd like to think that with this set of written thoughts, I'll be able to shed some light on this unresolved issue. Huh. Let's go around here. A nice sort of dining area, or at least it was. It'd be nice if I could see a little bit more of it, really. <laughs> it's my own fault. The sun is actually kind of shining on the screen a little bit. And that is just the fucking worst. Oh. Okay. What's that? Another note. Yep. That seems to be what this game is. Just walking around reading notes. Ingrid Garbo. She was uh, one of the names on the Abacus thing, right? Uh, anyway, the patient thinks that her purpose in life is to provoke a war between nations by carrying out terrorist attacks. A weekly evaluation of her mental state is recommend. Righto. What have we got here? That's a key, right? Yeah, okay. To what, though? Used by hospital employees. What, like a locker key, maybe? A locker key with a skull on it? I don't know. <laughs> maybe. Well, that shut her up by the sounds of it. Can we go any further? Again? No. Is this a door or a window? I'm genuinely not sure. <laughs> Okay. Oh, this side's blocked up. Hmm. What about through here? Oh, we go down. <laughs> we go down even further. Can't even see the bloody stairs. The rest area. Hmm. Okay. Locked up. Another note. Okay. A modern security system for the reception cabinet was installed last April. If someone wants to access its contents, the opening sequence must be resolved according to the time of the patient's admission. A numerical panel with modern electric buttons was also recommended as part of the equipment. However, fearing an eventual power cut, we finally opted for a manual system based on the traditional abacus. I see. Well, that explains why it's like an abacus. 
So it's based on their admission. So we need to find out about the other three people, right? We've got notes about two of them. With dates, I suppose I could check. We've got the morgue here. Oh, that's the skull key? That makes sense. Alright. Uh, during NDEs, people feel that... Feel that they leave their bodies and can move freely in the area where they have died. In the case of dying in a hospital, it's even possible to listen to the patient's declaration of death. Living a situation like this and not being able to do anything must be terrifying. Alright, I think one of the bodies wants to come out. Is it one of these lockers, or I don't know what exactly moved. Oh, another key! Okay. Sure. I'm guessing that's the office? It could be the locker, though. Okay, this would be... Hey, there you go, Abel Elizondo. Uh, he's still recovering from the loss of his arm during the war. He still doesn't know about the state of his face. The shrapnel damage forced us to remove almost all the epithe epithelial, epithelial tissue from his head, losing all his physical characteristics in the process. A specialist in prosthetic faces is already working on the reconstruction. A daily evaluation of his mental and physical state is recommended. Prosthetics. Hmm. In the 1920s? Or the early 20th century in general? Have fucking fun with that. Okay. I think we've probably found all we're going to get from the morgue area. So yeah, maybe let's try and use this new key. Either at the locker or the, the office area. So... That's just... Oh no, no, it's not just the blockage. There's actually something down here. Here we go. Uh, it is... Another security report. Oh, Noah Smith. Again, I think, on the abacus thing. Uh, the joy he feels when he has visitors fades when he is alone in his room. In those moments, he only relates to an imaginary friend that we've named Little Timmy. A weekly evaluation of his mental state is recommend id. Okay. Ed. Um, where was the office in relation to this? I want to say it was maybe this way on the left? Was it that door there? Correct, okay. Alright, well, let's take a look. Is that another security report? I think we're just looking for one more, honestly. And it is. Teresa Garcia. We need to sedate her every time we go into her room. The violent episodes that began in the past few weeks continue. The guards reported that recently she's been battling against a fallen angel who lives under her bed. A daily evaluation of her mental state is recommended. Okay. So, yeah, on all of these uh, patient reports, security reports, we've got the admission dates. Year and month, I guess. So, uh, we should be able to work the puzzle out, right? Anything else? Yeah, I think that's about it, really. Um, okay. Yep. I think it's, it's time to go. I've got six reports. So that's that's just telling us about the security system. So we've got Noah Smith, Teresa, Ingrid. Okay, yeah. Uh, Alright, I'll tell you what. I think what I'm going to do is actually end this video here. Thank you very much for watching. What do you think? <laughs> Shall I continue this? Maybe not right now because I'm kind of busy with Singularity and Exodus, but maybe after one of them is finished. I'm kind of on the fence, if I'm completely honest with you. I... Maybe the game just has a, a bit of a slow start, but it's a little dull. That was the chase sequence, and, you know, the statue chasing after me was kind of freaky. Um, but yeah, leave your thoughts down below, and maybe you'll see this game again in the future. See you next time. It's the time lift. You know, every house has got one. Alice in Wonderland, right? <laughs> Those bloody copyright lawyers. <laughs> All right. Okay. So, are you basically just telling me that there's going to be some bullshit in this game? The flashlight? Okay, the flashlight's the key. <laughs> if you say so, man.
Oh, Jesus Christ! Seriously? I had to check then that my flashlight was on. Oh, shit. Whoa, 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 whoa. For your safety. Oh, better read this. Remember to close the doors. I wish I fucking could! What, like a locker key, maybe? A locker key with a skull on it? I don't know. <laughs> maybe. Uh, during NDEs, people feel that... Feel that they leave their bodies and can...